Previously on the STI build, I got a Cobb titanium exhaust to install on my STI. This exhaust shaved 23 pounds from the car and changed the exhaust note to a slightly cleaner note. I then installed some extra cop parts and accessories to spice up the engine bay. I don't remember ordering this. I remember what this is. This is my 2018 STI front bumper. Good grief. This is a 2018 Subaru WRX STI front bumper. It is a little bit different than the fully OEM bumper. This one comes pre-painted to my color code, but this front grille is also a gloss black. This came from Subi Speeds, and they like to gloss the black trim, which is, I think, a little bit nicer look than the matte finish. I think it's also had the JDM bumpers come. Since I ordered this bumper from Subi Speed, they sent everything that I need to put it all together and some extra stuff. Um, so we've got the grill here, fog light bezels, as well as some wiring adapters and switches and plugs and panels that I honestly have no idea how to put together. First things first though, we gotta unbox everything so I can see what we're working with. I'm gonna have to look up to see if this is the uh, S209 grill. I don't think it is. So it's a hole up here, which they sent this to plug that hole. aftermarket projector fogs. This comes from Subi Speed, so it's got a nice cutoff. It should mount in the factory position with these little brackets here. Here we have, I think these are technically turn signals. These go into these side bezels, but they're LED, obviously, which are kind of nice. Now that we have both bumpers actually side to side or top to bottom, you can actually see a little bit of the differences. I think the 18 bumper looks a little bit more aggressive uh, with the styling, a little bit sharper edges. Really like this cutout here, looks a little bit more intentional than just a bump on the older bumper. Also, we obviously have the license plate holes on here, which I know they make color match plugs for these things, but it still isn't like smooth and sleek uh, like it would be on the 18 bumper. Also, there's like a blemish up here that's been really bothering me, so. It'd be really nice to put a new fresh bumper on that doesn't have a bunch of rock chips, but also a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more modern. 
I'm excited to see what it looks like. I am not very smart when it comes to wiring, and we have these little housing things that clearly bolt onto the back of the bumper, and I'm trying to figure out what plugs in where. I'm not really sure what plugs in where. I know this plugs into the car, so let's hook it up and see what it does. Anything on? Nothing. Nothing's on? Nope. Try it now. No. Nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> it turns out one of my fog light bulbs had gone out. But, thankfully, Advance had some bulbs to save the day. While I was there, I also picked up some tools that I was going to need for the wiring later. The uh, module I'm supposed to bolt onto the back side of this, so i got to take this front grill back out. And I don't know how. This is in there pretty good. So this one, we'll go through this hole here. All right, let's do that. Yes. And then you'll just take these nuts right here and attach them on the other side. Pretty close. All right, that is it. It's official. I now have 2018 STI front bumper with the gloss black painted trim and the Subi Speed LED daylight running lights and projector fogs. So I put a poll out on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram at Gears and Gasoline uh, about this bumper versus the old bumper. And the results were highly in favor of the new bumper, which is good because that's the bumper I'm going with. But they did say they like the New bumper with the old grill. They like this JDM style mesh grill. Unfortunately, these grills are not interchangeable, but I can change this grill out anytime I want. I, I think this grill still looks pretty good, so I'm gonna leave it. But they also said on Instagram that I need the front lip from that, which they're different. They don't fit up the same, it's a different shape. Uh, but that's okay, because Subi Speed also sent us an STI front lip. Subi Speed sent the genuine STI front lip, so it should fit up really nicely. Lost two washers. This hurts. That hurt. Oh. oh, it hurts. Okay. Lip comes back off so we can drill out the well nut holes because they have to be bigger than this, otherwise it won't hold itself in. Time to, unfortunately, drill some more holes with a bigger drill bit. Okay, time for more pain. Just need to check how well these fit. All right, lip's going back on. A really nice look. I mean, even if I didn't like the style of it, it's more fresh. It's clean paint, there's no rock chips, it's nice. And it paint matches really nicely too. So Subi Speed also sent me this fog light button, which I currently don't have. There is a little turn dial on the stock, um, and obviously when you have your regular headlights on, the fog lights are automatically on, but it's kind of nice to have this little separate button here, and we have an empty panel. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this so we can have a fog light button there. Um, and to get to that, we have to try to take all this apart to pull the panel off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now this panel will come out somehow, so it's just moving the back. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so the fuse panel cover there can be replaced with this. This is a coin holder 
I guess I can put coins in there for toll money or something. We'll put a little sticker on the back there to have the fuses still labeled. And now we've got a little bit more use out of the car. So that's kind of nice. Okay, well, that's it. All done. It tastes like popcorn almost. It is definitely cornstarch. <laughs> I'm really glad there's nothing else in here. <laughs> it was too, it looked too enticing.